and welcome to the APLL Colts podcast, where you can uncover new insights from the logistics and freight forwarding industry through the seasoned experts at APL Logistics, a global supply chain provider. We'll help you keep pace with the current topics impacting businesses and advance your logistics strategy. Hello, everyone. I'm your host, April Chapman. I'm very pleased to be joined by my guest today, Hakan Yarin, our Chief Information Officer at Global IT. I've actually had the privilege of working directly with Hakan since he joined us about two years ago. And guess, let me tell you, you are in for a treat. (laughs) Hakan is an industry veteran with more than 20 years of experience in logistics, leveraging technology to address complex business problems. As a CIO of APL Logistics, he is leading an aggressive digital agenda to meet the growing technology demands and needs of our customers. We are honored to have him on the show. So welcome to the show, Hakan. Can you share a little bit about yourself with our listeners? Sure, absolutely. Hi, April. It's a pleasure to be here. You know, it's, it's fantastic to talk to you. You're always uh, sort of, you know, bring interesting topics to light, and I'm very excited to be part of this journey uh, with you. So uh, thank you for having me. Let's see. I've been married about 20 years. So this 2022 is going to be our 20 years. Congratulations. It's, thank That's you. That's a big so deal. Absolutely. We're very excited. I mean, I'm sure many people will say it, but I'm married to my best friend. So she's fantastic and phenomenal. It's been a great journey and we really enjoy every day. We have two great children. Sometimes I don't know if I would use the word great, but you know, (laughs) anyone that has teenagers or soon to be teenagers, they know how it is. And I know you're going through, uh, similar with your teenager, going to sort of the college phase. And we can be honest, because let's face it, our teens aren't listening to our logistics podcast, are they? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, I don't think so. We'll see, you know. We'll see. You know, we'll see. E- even though, you know, supply chain has been a pretty exciting place to be. That's and true. especially the young people coming to supply chain. So we'll see. Maybe we'll attract some new folks. I've been married 20 years, two kids. One is in high school. The other is soon to be in high school. You know, they just keep you busy. And of course, I have a dog and two cats. You know, as you can imagine, there's lots of things going on. Uh-huh. Uh, career-wise, I'm an engineer by training. I've been in the industry. I think getting close to 25 years, probably, I found that, that, you know, sort of as engineers, you know, we kind of think through things in systemic way. And as I got into IT in the early days when the ERP sort of boom was happening, what really attracted to me was that IT in the old days, the computer science was kind of thought of as more like this creative discipline. But I think, and hopefully some of my technology colleagues will not disagree, but I see it as a very much of an engineering discipline. So I was able Mm to make that transition fairly easily. Mm -hmm. And having done that, it allowed me to have a pretty interesting and global career. I lived and worked in Istanbul, Turkey, Brussels, Belgium, as well as in, in the US, in Connecticut, California, and Tennessee. So, you know, I have been in different places, it allowed mm-hmm. me to work with great people across the globe in many different industries. So it's been a it's been a fantastic journey. And that is awesome. Now I, yes, absolutely. And I'm very excited to be here at APL Logistics now, as you mentioned, a little over two years now. Mm, I did not know that you were in Istanbul for a while. I love Istanbul. Absolutely. <laughs> well, I am so happy to have you join us here today. Let's dive into our topic. We are now two years into the pandemic. You know, supply chains are having to be more nimble than ever, and technology is more important than ever. So developing the right teams is a vital part of success and a part I believe you are actually very good at. So with such a fluctuating kind of jobs market right now, what are your thoughts around getting the right talent in place? Thank you, April. I think that's a great question. I have an an opportunity to connect with a lot of peers across the industry, different CIOs, And this is the number one item on their agenda. It's how to not only bring talent and attract new talent to companies, but also retain the existing talent. And it's not about compensation, but it's it's also about the skill set. It's about the growth and learning opportunities. But if I pull back from a technology perspective, both the challenge as well as the opportunity is such that technology is very pervasive. It is not in the purview of, let's say, uh, only in IT people or mm-hmm. computer science people. So it is whether you're an you know, English major in college for biology or you studied engineering or you studied computer science, you have to be really ingrained in technology and how you use it to solve problems right. in your area. 
Right. I think this is a great opportunity the way I see it for technology professionals, because for us, we can really open up our aperture and look for talent across multiple disciplines. And I think with the advent of artificial intelligence, machine learning, this is actually even more critical because what we want to do is we, we want to sort of avoid any bias towards building these solutions. So multidisciplinary approach is key. So for us, the way that we want to approach this at APL Logistics is we want to be an employer of choice mm-hmm. in the markets that we operate in. I think we feel very confident about our ability to attract people, whether it's in Singapore, US, Germany, or Chile, all the you know, countries, and especially the places where we hire in IT. Oftentimes, I have an opportunity to talk to almost everybody that's joining APL Logistics New, coming to IT. And one, I always ask them the question, what attracted you to APL Logistics? And one of the things that they say is, one, it's a global organization, so the work is itself complex and interesting. Mm-hmm. Secondly, they feel like there is a camaraderie and it's a collegiate environment as they kind of get to know people and talk to individuals. And they feel like this is a place where they can make a difference. So we want to do ever better and we want to really reach out further to places, bring diverse backgrounds, diverse talent to our organizations. So we're trying to do this with partnering up with universities, also working with other partners and providers. And in some cases, uh, the tech startups, because there's a huge ecosystem of startups, especially in the logistics industry. And we're looking beyond our four walls and say, where can we find the best talent that can help us solve our customers' problems in the most effective way? And Mm -hmm. I think it's not so much about war for talent, but really being able to create an environment where talent can flourish Mm -hmm. and excel. I think that's what we want to try to do. And I believe, you know, we have the right ingredients at APL Logistics. We've done a good job and that makes it exciting for me every day. I love that perspective on technology being a part of every job. And it's true. You know, I, when I went to school, I majored in communication and that was my thing behind it was you're going to use communication, whatever job you do, it doesn't matter. It's across the board. It is the same with technology now. And I think that that's a really interesting point to bring up, but you, at the end, we're talking about our customers. Let's like go down that path. So let's talk about what you are actually seeing from the customer perspective. So obviously successful organizations have had to adapt to the constant changes of the last couple of years. Uh, is it fair to say that the customers and their expectations have evolved as well? And if so, what do you see them expecting now? Yeah, absolutely. I think it's something that every organization strives to not sit on their laurels, mm-hmm. drive further on the customer experience and customer intimacy. I think for APL Logistics, this has been a competitive advantage for us. And we have built significant relationships with our customers over the years. And a lot of that actually goes into the talent we talked about. You know, we have the good subject matter experts in place and, and certainly the then technology. But about it's all about how do we look for ways to eliminate friction in the customer experience journey. That's what we try to do using technology, using process improvement, using engineering. So one of the things I think everybody who's been watching the news and people that haven't been paying much attention to the supply chain industry, I think they are seeing it is that the way that supply chain industry kind of makes the whole world go around. All of us have taken certain things for granted. We just assume things are going to be there at the shelf when we expect it or at our doorsteps, it gets delivered. Now we realize that this complex change. So that's what we do. We help our customers get the right product to their customers at the right time. In order to do that, you know, that requires a significant amount of data, understanding of our customers' processes and operations, and then for us to be able to drill down and provide them that capability. So our customers are looking at us to be the best partner. These supply chains are very complex. That means we have to work with other 3PLs like ourselves. We have to work with suppliers. We have to work with carriers. We have to work our customers' customers sometimes or customer suppliers. Connecting the dots and making this the full uh, life cycle integrated is key. And that's what we try to stitch this using our data, using our intelligence. We leverage AI and machine learning techniques to further improve it. From a strategic perspective, we also work very close with our customers in terms of aligning our technology investment. Our customers are in the retail industry, automotive, as well as consumer and industrial sectors. And what we see is a pretty significant amount of IT dollars are going into supply chain-related technologies. 
and our customers are investing. So one statistic actually refers to is about there's a 30% increase year over year in IT spending just in the retail industry alone. But what we try to do is we then say, okay, well, our customers are investing in technology to advance their supply chain processes and improve it. We then align our investments into what they are doing so that the summation of this full investment on our side, our customer side, benefits our customers at the end and makes their process more efficient. And that's what allows us to then be able to offer the best customer experience with our people, our expertise, with our technology, with our data, as well as sort of ingesting everything together. That's making it easy to do business with us. That's what we're trying to do and making it easy for them to do business with their customers. That's the ultimate goal for customer experience. Oh, I like that. There is a constant evolution. And that's one of the other things I really like about where we're going with our technology right now is that we have been focusing on continuous innovation. We've spent a lot of time talking about agile methodology and the mindsets that are behind that. I'd love for you to share a little bit about your ideas around those topics. Well, I'm privileged to be here to talk about it because APL Logistics is recognized in this field as one of the key innovators. And I think our legacy goes a long way. The way I look at innovation is, uh, I kind of think of it as a small I. Sometimes people think of innovation, it has to be this one big thing that changes everything, but it's about continuous improvement. It's actually taking small steps. Our legacy goes back to San Francisco many years. We have great presence in Asia, in Singapore. And with our KWE, we have Japanese heritage as well. So if you look at it, the notion around Lean Six Sigma, the continuous improvement, a lot of those core management techniques is what we try to embody and apply every day in what Mm -hmm. we do. So the way that the disruptions and the uncertainty in supply chain that we all are seeing over the last two years really has necessitated to really uh, understanding the data and events that are happening beyond the four walls of any organization. Mm -hmm. And how do you then react to it? Plug and play, multiple capabilities, having this architecture framework is key for us to be able to do that. So when I think about innovation technology, we want to build a framework, ecosystem, and environment that we can actually make this happen, right? So that this framework allows the ideas to be able to be experimented so we can learn, you know, we fail but we try to learn from it and then adapt as we go along. As a company, we rely on our subject matter expertise, our global network, and our technology to make a difference. So in order to bring this full capabilities to the forefront, we have to be able to experiment, learn, take a risk in sometimes, Mm -hmm. and advance our customers' business forward. We try to do this by leveraging our ecosystem of partners, you know, Mm -hmm. tech startups in the security space, logistics technology, data aggregation, we try to bring the best in class capabilities that may exist within APL logistics and outside of APL logistics, harness them together Mm -hmm. in a meaningful way. So it adds value to our customers every day. It adds value to our operations, to our people, whether they're in the finance, HR operations. So you want to make this ecosystem environment really something that lives by innovation is not a one-time thing. It has a continuous activity. So that means as an organization, you have to be a learning organization, right? So it's not Mm -hmm. just about people, the talent has to grow and learn. As an organization, how do you become a learning organization? Mm -hmm. And I think that's the key to be really successful. Have the right talent, the right technology, and knowing what to do with the the data and the technology. Continuously evolve, learn, and adapt to changing conditions to add value to the stakeholders, whether it's both internal and external. That's where I see as innovation. And we try to create an environment where that can happen, where we have the people can flourish and do their best work. Well, I've seen that happening over the course of the two years that you've been here. There's a lot of growth in that for us. Thank you for your leadership in that. I, I know that we truly appreciate it. Thank you for joining us here on this podcast. Thank you. Thank you, April. It's been fantastic. Appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. If you like what you heard, or if you have any questions about today's episode, reach out to us at global underscore marketing at apllogistics.com. Make sure to subscribe to us on your favorite podcast apps. You will also find us on LinkedIn or visit us at apllogistics.com. We'll see you next time on the APLL Pulse podcast.